I'm super excited to film this video today. It's the start of a new renovation project. Basically, we are starting to renovate the bathroom upstairs. We haven't touched it since we moved in and we do intend to do a bigger kind of renovation project where we like strip out the shower, strip out the bath and stuff like that. But that is not what we're taking on today and over the next couple of days slash over the next few videos we haven't touched it since we moved in it's not in our style i just want to zhuzh it up a little bit i've bought some vinyl flooring we've bought some paint and we're going to start looking at kind of like shelving and stuff like that in the next few videos that follow this one but today's agenda is to basically get it prepped get it painted and basically start the new renovation series. I know you guys enjoy these a lot on the channel, hence why I'm really excited to start filming. So uh, yeah, all the paint is in the shed. I just need to brave the rain. So let's go get yeah, that. We actually started getting this delivery of um, nice bread from a local bakery. It's called Broadwolf and the bread is lovely. And the reason why I'm saying it is because they gave me a little treat. They don't know who I am. It's just a good business model to treat your customers nice. So uh, that's my breakfast sorted. A lovely plain croissant with my coffee. I've got pockets full of stuff. <laughs> This one's good, this one's really good. I haven't done like a painting project in so long. And if you don't know me, before I started my YouTube career and career within social media, I mean, I went to uni and studied fine art, but after that and before that actually, like for the majority of my younger life, I used to work on building sites and stuff with my dad and I was a carpenter's apprentice and stuff like that, but basically, Short end of the story is that I've done every single thing that you could probably think of on a construction site and it's in here. So uh, I love that I'm able to apply skills that I've already learned and do things like this myself. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm excited about starting another renovation project. Let's give you a little tour before we start pulling everything off the shel uh, shelves, windowsill, and to start tidying up and clearing stuff out of the room ready to go. Just like any tour, you obviously start from the outside. So when we open the door, you are faced with a basin, you are faced with the windows, you are faced with a towel rail. And the tiles basically start halfway from that side of the wall. There's no tiles on this side. It's an empty corner. Like I said, when I started the video, I was saying about shelving maybe, or some kind of like nice storage unit with a mirror. Don't know yet. We're not there with this project uh, yet. Something to think about later. We have a bath, a shower. Shower actually needs to be looked at because of the pressure, it's terrible. But I'll look into that after we've got everything sorted. It's not particularly fancy shower, it's not a particularly fancy shower screen either, but it does the job for now. Is that gonna come off easily actually, because so I can paint behind it? Yes it is! Whoa, I'm already starting pulling things off, I need to tidy up. Very simple guys, it is what it is. Uh, the whole back wall is tiled, so that's gonna need painting. Um, what else, there's a tiny bit of tiles there where the shower is. These cannot wait to paint these tiles on the bath. What else we got? The tiles kind of follow this whole uh, side of the room, under the toilet, under the basin, and then halfway obviously up to the windows. I could probably give the windows a bit of a clean as well whilst I'm in here. But essentially, that is what we're looking at. The idea is that I am going to paint the tiles white. Where is the paint? I have it here. It is literally white. I just want to freshen it up. That's basically what the mission of this project is, is to freshen it up, put some new floor down, which I bought. It's not an, a particularly expensive solution. It's actually a rather cheap kind of budget 
solution. I've bought some new vinyl flooring to basically just lay on top of this because this is sections of, I don't even know, it's like engineered board maybe, um, but we, we really, it's not in our taste is what I'm trying to say. So I've bought some vinyl floor to just literally lay over the top. As soon as I get everything prepped and painted, uh, that's kind of the last job. After you've painted everything, you'd look to lay a carpet uh, as like the finishing thing, so you don't risk getting anything on it, essentially. So that's gonna happen at the end of the project or towards the end of the project. That's the kind of rundown of what's happening in here. I won't touch the ceiling, I won't touch the white walls because that is the section that we painted when we moved in. We also painted the woodwork and stuff so I don't need to touch the skirting boards and things like that. Basically, it's just concentrating on this side of the room. I bought some new silicon so I can go around all the edges and freshen that up because yeah, some of it's kind of like peeling away in the corners. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see so water will get through there and cause damage, so I need to freshen all of that up. And also, like, in the tiles, there's some small, tiny little hairline cracks, which I don't need to fill because the paint, which I'm using, is going to... It's so thick, I'm doing a couple of coats, and there's also kind of like an undercoat, which I'll talk about as soon as I open the tin, but I'm not worried about little cracks in the tiles because I'm covering the whole lot with a couple of coats of paint, so it will fill all those tiny cracks and you won't be able to see them. That's it, that's the rundown, that's what's happening. Super excited, as you can tell, to get cracking. I need to take a sip of my coffee, have a bite of my croissant, and then I will start basically clearing the shelves and getting rid of it. I might even put it in another room so it's completely out of the way. Oh my God. That is one fresh croissant. Mmm! You can't beat a plain croissant. Croissant. The fun begins. We are on. I didn't need this. Why did I get this silly glove? I have some in here. This is a mission clear up. Basically, before I put any paint. Oh, I need to check these actually. I left these in the shed and there could be a little spidero waiting for me to put my hand in. No, we're all good. Might as well use this one as well, eh? Might as well. Before I put any paint on the walls, I need to sugar soap the entire surface area. Yeah, there's a lot of tiles to clean with this, even the surface that you're on, but we'll start in this corner and then work our way around to the bottom. I'm just going to take a part of this shower actually because it looks easier for me. <laughs> Perfect! Yes! Right, I'll put them in my pocket, keep them safe. Screw thingies, which. Oh, bloody hell, I nearly dropped it then down the basin drain, <laughs> which are uh, holding on the shower thing. Right, pocket, boom. I suppose I'd probably take this off as well, couldn't I? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's the kind of thing that Poppy will come upstairs and be like, Sean, we took the shower off. How are you going to put it back? Absolutely coat this in sugar soap. I'm going to do it section by section so I don't um, forget any areas. So I'm going to do this, then I'll probably do like those two tiles, and then I'll do that. <coughs> Might have to open a window actually. Woo! Actually, gonna use like a, the world's tiniest scourer. three times with three different things. It's because it needs to be bone dry before I put the paint on it. 
Um, so that section's done now. Dry. Now to do the rest of it. I'm going to do that off camera. Simply because if that tiny bit took me 10 minutes, then times that by one, two, three, four, five, six, it's going to take me an hour just to clean the tiles before I paint it. But you need to do it. Like the whole idea of this is that we do it properly so it lasts. Um, you can't just slap on a coat of paint, especially in a wet area like the shower that is going to be using hot, steamy water because otherwise the paint will just flake and peel off so um, if you do the job properly the first time it will last, that's what we're all about on this channel, is doing it properly sorry I'm throwing things around and making lots of background sound so hopefully that made sense but, um, I'll see you in an hour <laughs> Still a little bit wet, but I've done my best to dry it off. I've literally used like a thousand cloths. All of those, that pile. We've got one, two, two tea towels, two other little cloths and another thing. So basically what I'm saying is I've done my best to wipe it all off and make it as dry as possible for, drum roll please, for our first, Coat. We're using Zinza primer and sealer. It's oil based, it's not water based, so which means it's going to be perfect to use in the shower area on those tiles. This is like the bad boy of primers and sealers. So um, there's a reason why I bought it, it's because it's probably one of the best that you can, you can buy and use in this kind of circumstance. It says dries in 15 minutes, recoat in 45. So, if this goes well, technically I'm going to be able to paint the first actual coat over the top today, which um, which is good. Don't worry about that, mate. I've just used my sugar soap. Check out how much sugar soap I used for the whole bathroom. There's like a quarter of the bottle left. So I gave it an intense clean. Right then, give it a good shake up. You need to be careful with this, because this goes everywhere. And that reminds me, I need to tape up and protect the bar, because if I splash that bar, it's gonna be hard to get the stuff off. So, uh, yeah, I bought this, which I'm gonna reuse in my art videos. So I'm gonna cut this to go and completely cover the bar so I can just go in on the paint. All right, so that corner goes in there. Stretch this out to this corner. Cut it roughly about there, then I won't, I'll have basically over half of it to reuse again. Perfect though. Proper, proper knife. I like using these ones because basically, can you see? You can see in the middle, it's got all these lines across the blades. Basically, once that end goes blunt, all you have to do just put it back up, and guess what? You can bend that one off, and it snaps off. So then you've got a brand new blade to carry on. And I've got loads. So uh, yeah, we don't need all of that. And for safety, we're only gonna barely push it out so I can cut this neatly. Always cut away from you as well. I know from experience, because when I was younger, I actually cut my thumb in half, which is a bit gruesome. I cut right through my thumb. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this actually. Can you see there? There's like a little line. Yeah, see straight through there. So I cut through my nail down to about there. And it went zoop. Gross. So be careful if you're using sharp knives like that. Dang it, I'm going to put it back in its case. So it's not even got a point on it. And we've got frog tape which is perfect for decorating. It actually says painter's masking tape on it as well. This is the stuff you need when you're doing decorations like this. So it's a long process guys, but it's worth it because if you do do it properly like this, like I said before, it's gonna last.
gloves on. Don't want to get this on my skin because it's oil based and it's really hard to get off. That <laughs> didn't work very well, did it? Put the lid straight back on that because that's going to go absolutely freaking everywhere if it goes over. Ultra wide so you can see everything I'm doing. I think we're at the point in the video where there's a lot of time lapses. <laughs> tricky bit is obviously getting all those uh, bits of grout but I'm getting it with this roller so we're all good. needed that undercoat is now done. All the edges, everything has had that first initial undercoat. I don't think I'm gonna to need to put another coat of that on. I think this is enough. But now I'm gonna leave it to dry. Plus I need to get out of here because although the window's open, it is fumey. Have a little break. And yeah, I'll catch up with you in a little while. We'll see how long it takes to dry. It shouldn't take that long. And then I can hit the first coat of the actual paint on it. Feeling good about it. Feeling really, really good about it. I'm happy that um, we started the project. But also, it's so nice. Like, I think I, I'm like this because I used to work within the construction industry. I get a lot of satisfaction from seeing physical change. Um, which is something I miss a lot actually from like changing job roles and stuff although it's been so it's been like four or five years now since i started youtube but there's something so satisfying oh and be need to be really careful about where i'm sitting because i've got pain on me something so satisfying about seeing something physically change in front of you which is i guess is why a lot of you enjoy watching the renovation videos because when i'm clearing out the garden or taking down an old fence and putting up a new one. It's so satisfying to watch the change. I'm gonna go downstairs, get a drink, chill out for half an hour and then we can crack back on again. Okay, close the door so no doggy can run in and run all over the paint. For an update, it's not that fumey in here, which is great because at one point I thought I was gonna fall over. I'm not being serious, I wasn't gonna fall over. I'm being incredibly responsible. Although I am going to open the window again. Everything's dried. I've actually started to cut in the corners. I'm getting fucking paint all over my camera. I'm going to take this off so I don't continue to get paint on it. I've started to cut it up here, along the bath. This is going to look very clean, I reckon. I've brought brilliant white, so it's like super, super bright. I don't think it's the brightest white you can get. I think that's called diamond. I've cut in around the top edge. I've painted the first layer on this, so you can see the difference, even with this white zinza on it, because uh, they were all really super cream before. Um, but it's gonna look so freaking nice. Stage two, 
we're on. I just need to apply the first coat of, where is the paint? Eggshell, oil based again because we're in the shower. Don't need to explain that again. Pure Brilliant White from Dulux. Is it time for another time lapse? Probably. Let me try and set you up so you're like super wide and see everything that's going on. That would be cool, wouldn't it? because basically I've done the initial first coat. So tomorrow all I need to do is basically do exactly what I've done again today, go over absolutely everything one more time with that paint. Um, and then I can think about laying the floor and also I'll use my... <coughs> I haven't set it up properly yet, but I'll use my silicone gun to go around all the edges and make it nice and clean, things like that. See that on the windowsill? Basically, I'll run a lovely bead of white silicone across the whole thing, all the edges, and make it super, super clean and get rid of all of these little scrotty bits on the um, basin and the toilet and around the bath where I gouged it all out. But I'm really happy with the progress done pretty well to get it all painted twice already today. I did actually give up being really like perfectionist-y uh, towards the end here. This is the only bit I didn't tape and I didn't really care about it because like I said I'm laying a new floor so um, yeah I used the roller to just run a whole line across the bottom there but all of this is painted, all behind the toilet, everything under the sink is all nice and neatly painted as well. I managed to get quite a lot of paint on my clothes as well. So that brings us to the end of the first instalment of the bathroom makeover. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, make sure you're checking back in on the channel to um, yeah check out the updates. So I'm going to leave you here. Thank you so much for coming along and watching the video, especially waiting till the end to hear me babble on about the next coming videos. Really, oh shit, I've just lent on the banister. Luckily, I've got these special wipes which get rid of things like that. So I'm gonna rub my arms with it because I've got paint all over my arms as well. And um, yeah, I'm gonna leave you to it guys. Thank you so much again. I'll see you real soon with another bathroom update. Peace.